I love the functionality of this latch extender for more ride. It's one of the most helpful pieces of gear I've added to my RV over the years, but unfortunately, it doesn't play well with everyone. Hey there, and welcome to RV Gear and Far. I'm Joshua, and I've been using the Moride Latch Extender for over 18 months as my family of four traveled full time in this 35 foot travel trailer. We installed a keyless door lock, which is absolutely a worthwhile upgrade if you frequently use your RV with multiple people or don't want to carry keys when you go on a hike. And after doing a comparison video on two of the more popular aftermarket keyless locks, Latchet and RV Lock, I came to the conclusion that we would keep the Latchet lock installed. I'll put a link to that comparison in the video description below. On almost every measurable metric, the RV Lock and the Latchet performed the same. The deciding factor for me was that at the time, the Latchet did not have any visible branding on the outside of the handle. And so with no other discerning factors between the two, that's the one I chose. That has since changed and they are now branding it in the same location as the RV Lock, so we'll talk about that in a little bit. Fast forward a bit and after seeing the Moride Door Latch Extender at the Florida RV Super Show, I bought one and installed it on our rig. Everything was great for about 18 months of full-time use. It's an incredibly helpful, simple machine that absolutely changes how everyone in my family interacts with the front door in a positive way. Then I noticed that the set screw was a bit loose and went to tighten it. The screw bottomed out and wouldn't tighten anymore and yet the clamp was still loose. So I removed the latch extender to find out that the set screw had essentially drilled through the latchet door handle. At this point, I tried putting a spacer in between the handle and the set screw to try and spread out the impact, but it was too little too late and the handle is absolutely destroyed. I reached out to more ride via email and also through a DM on Instagram. The marketing department got back with me pretty quickly and stated that they had not had any prior instances reported to them of this issue, but that since I had brought it up, one of their social media managers at the time also relayed that they too personally had similar issues with their Latchet brand lock and using the Moride Latch Extender. Moride then stated that they tested the lock on four different brands of RV door locks, Global, Trimark, Bauer, and RV Lock, and that, quote, prior to launching the market, we tested the latch on four of the leading lock type latches. We are not familiar with Latchet and did not test on their lock. We tested each lock to find the force needed to break the lock in almost each case, it required 100 pounds of force. To get to that 100 pounds of force required a very intentional hard slamming of the door before we saw any issue of fatigue in the lock." Unquote. Morai told me that since at least two customers had issues with the Latche brand lock and their latch extender, that they would purchase one of those locks and test it as they did with the first four brands. I've since reached out multiple times over the course of several months, and the reply has been that there are no updates from the engineering department. They bought the lock, apparently they're testing it, but there's no updates on it. So what's the moral of this story? Well, I love the functionality of the latch extender. It absolutely makes a huge difference. And as a concept, I highly recommend it to any RVer. However, the set screw attachment design on the Moride, while potentially not an issue with some lock brand materials, it's not quite universally compatible. I feel like there are other ways to attach the extender to an existing handle that could avoid this catastrophic failure potential altogether. Now, I must not be the only one that loves the concept of this simple lever for RV doors. Lippert has released their own version called the Latch Extend. It's a similar handle extension, but it's different in that it appears to be built into the door handle itself. So to install their extender, you have to install a completely new door lock, and it's currently only available as a keyed only version, which means that you can't add it to your current keyless door lock. However, the benefit of this design is that the latch and the extender are designed to be used together. So I doubt we'll see any attachment conflicts with the Lippert product. So what will I personally be doing about this issue? Well, I reached out to RV Lock and asked specifically about issues with the Moride Latch Extender. They responded that their handles should hold up to the latch extender and they have had no reports of their handles cracking while using it. Being that the major reason I initially chose Latchet was because it did not have an exterior logo visible and that has since changed with the most recent product versions, we'll probably be giving RV Lock a more extended trial. Do I love the function of a latch extender for my RV door? Absolutely. Is the Moride version the best option? It depends. And at the moment, I can confirm that the current version with the set screw attachment is not a good option to use with Latchet brand keyless door locks. I'm excited to keep my pulse on the latch extenders and to bring you additional options as they enter the market. The concept is solid and I can personally confirm that it makes a huge positive impact on your RV experience going in and out of the door up and down the stairs. We just may need to get a bit more nuanced in which extender is right for each individual rig and hardware situation. If you found value in this video, please leave a comment below and let me know if you've swapped out your keyed door lock for a keyless door lock. And if you enjoy RV DIY projects, gear reviews, and how-tos, please consider subscribing. With that, I'll see you down the road. Happy trails.